Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah? Awesome. Okay, so for a little while now I've been thinking about doing a slight modification to my Sunburst Fender Stratocaster. Um, it's a great guitar as it stands, but I've always thought it sounded a little bit thin for the stuff that I play, you know, Nirvana and more heavier kind of things I guess. So I've been debating about whether or not to get a humbucker for the bridge position. Um, because I already have a strap with a humbucker in the bridge, I thought I would go slightly differently and um, go for a Seymour Duncan Hot Rails instead. Now obviously a Hot Rails is pretty much just a humbucker, but like a mini one I guess. And um, it's the one that Kurt Cobain used for like backup guitars I guess. So um, I thought that would be a good way to go, you know, for like Nirvana tone and all that kind of thing. And um, hopefully it will definitely thicken up the sound of this Stratocaster, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not the best at soldering in the whole world, but I definitely know the basics. I did used to do a bit of soldering back when I was at college, so I know more than enough to like install a pickup into a guitar, I guess. I did install a humbucker in my blue Stratocaster over there quite a while ago now, but I think I remember what I did, so um, yeah, it's, it's not really all that difficult, it's pretty simple. Um, so what I'm going to do with this video is, after I've done the installation, I'm going to edit in a before and after, so I'm going to do some playing with the single coil and then do some playing with the Seymour Duncan hot rails. So you can kind of get an idea of what the uh, difference in the sound is between the two pickups I guess. So um, I suppose there's not really much more for me to say, so let's get on with the installation. <laughs>
Okay, so that was the installation. I think it went pretty smoothly. Um, I don't think the angle that I chose for the camera was the best, um, but I was really just focusing on what I was doing and I didn't really think about the camera very much. Not very professional, I know, but I did my best, I suppose. Yeah, I really just wanted to sort of concentrate on what I was doing. Uh, yeah, like I said, I think it went pretty smoothly, so that's cool, I guess. Um, what I might have to do is go into Photoshop and do a little diagram of like what I was doing kind of thing, just which wires go to which part of the guitar and all that kind of thing. It's not difficult by any means, it's not complicated, it's super simple. Uh, so yeah, now with the sound test, I used the same set of strings for the single coil and the uh, hot rails, so you know, it's kind of a, more of a fair test in that respect. It does need some new strings because these strings are absolutely disgusting. Um, if I was to cut myself on them, I think I might need a tetanus shot. Um, yeah, they're a bit rusty and manky and just covered in dead skin and various other disgusting things. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll have to do that at some point. Um, but yeah, like I said, I wanted to keep the same strings on there, just so it was like a fair test kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I think it went pretty well. I think this is a great mod for anybody to do that's got a soldering iron, really. Um, you know, just take your time and be careful, obviously, because the iron gets really hot. Uh, kind of goes without saying, but I just thought I'd say it anyway. Uh, yeah, it's a super simple circuit with like a few solder points, like for the one pickup, so it's not difficult by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not sure with the audio comparison that I did whether it's going to show up super well on the video, but within the room itself I pretty much noticed it like straight away, like it was like night and day kind of thing. Um, yeah, like immediately much louder and um, like a much sort of thicker sound. So it's definitely something I would recommend for people to do if you don't want a single coil and if you want to get a humbucker but you know your guitar maybe doesn't have room for a humbucker in it or something like that. Um, this guitar actually does, I think the Mexican Strats mainly do have um, like do have like a hole routed out for a humbucker. Um, but I wanted to get a hot rails just because I've already got a humbucker, like a Seymour Duncan humbucker in my other Stratocaster, so I wanted to try out a hot rails. Um, plus I think they look pretty cool as well, so yeah. <laughs> Now, I wired this little pickup in series, which is the traditional strong mid-tone focused way of wiring in a humbucker. You can do it in parallel, and you also can do it with a split coil as well. I went with the traditional in series way of doing it just because that's what a humbucker was designed for, I guess. And um, like I said, it's the most traditional way of doing it and the way that sounds the fattest and the thickest. Um, yeah, <laughs> my favorite way of having a humbucker, I guess. Like I said before, I did this exact mod on my blue Stratocaster, only this is a proper humbucker, whereas this is like a mini hot rails kind of situation. They're basically the same pickup, but um, like one's more traditional and one's like slightly more modern, I guess. Um, yeah, just a different aesthetic, and I'd be interested to see if there's a difference between the sound of these two pickups as well, as opposed to just the hot rails and a normal single coil. Um, but yeah, it's kind of funny because I forgot how to actually wire in a humbucker. So what I had to do was uh, take this, open this guitar up and just have a look and see what I did with it back in the day because it was quite a long time ago that I modded this guitar now. Uh, so yeah, I had to sort of open it up and have a look to see where I soldered everything because I couldn't remember for the life of me. Um, but yeah, I sort of checked it out, had a look and yeah, it didn't take very long to sort of like emulate it with this pickup in this guitar. So um, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> So I just thought I'd share this with you really, it's not exactly an instructional video, it's just me filming myself installing a hot rails in my Stratocaster, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, it's not really an instructional video, so to speak, it's just me documenting myself doing it, I guess. Like I said, I will put a like sort of self-made wiring diagram um, on the screen for you, just to sort of like oversimplify it for you, I guess. Um, yeah, if this is at all helpful to you, or if you just find it mildly interesting, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, of course. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, this is what I did after work today, I guess. <laughs> it's not really an in-depth video, like showing you how to play a song or anything, it's just me installing a humbucker, or a hot rails, should I say, a mini humbucker, whatever it is. <laughs> Putting a new pickup in my guitar. Um, yeah, like I said, hopefully it's helpful to you in some way, shape or form, or if you do just find it mildly interesting to watch, then that's awesome. Um, yes, I'll get back to doing some guitar covers ASAP. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Peace. Bye. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs>